Hey, are you guys ready for Craft Wars again? Well, we have got the reigning diva of crafts right here with us, Marlene. You were just outstanding last month with your planter. Wasn't that fun? <laughs> it really was. All that stuff, and just, it's egg cartons, right? Egg cartons and glue and just a bunch of stuff. <laughs> a bunch of stuff. Well, it was brilliant. You should have won, but you know what? There's a challenger. Oh, I know. I'm scared. <laughs> here she comes. Look out. <laughs> It's Lauren Johnson. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. Are you ready for this? I am ready. I think that crown would show up much better in red hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Now that's a challenge. <laughs> well, here's the challenge, girls. We get these all the time in the mail, don't we? Oh, yeah. yes. Who knows what to do with it besides throw them in the trash? Well, I bet you anything they can come up with something good. Sure. <laughs> all right. Pick your pleasure. Oh, I need a couple. We'll just probably take one of those. And okay, do I get I'll it? I'll take two. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can have one. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck, girls, because here we go. Okay, Lauren, what did you come up with out of your CD and your box? Well, I made like a little gift package here. It's a box that I used. The ah. CD can, came in, and I put a little bead on the bottom. Wow. And inside <gasps> is the gift card. So we use the actual CD, and then we open it up, and oh. it has a sentiment in there. Oh, it says, wishing you much happiness on this very special day. So we can use this for any occasion. Oh, Real versatile, and then they could actually use that as a jewelry box. They could do oh, yeah. little, little flat jewelry. They could do anything they want with it there. So that's what I came up with. You just blow me away, just like Marlene. She's in there blowing me away, too. Okay, I'm going to go check on her again. Okay. You going to get busy and show us how to do it? I have a lot to do. Okay. I will get busy. Let me cover that up. Okay, what I've started out doing on this is I'm using Decorate ink, and it's a permanent ink that goes real good on metal surfaces like this. It goes on glass and metal. So real good coverage. I'm just covering it all up like that. I can do the back side. I've got kind of a mess going here. Do both sides, get it all covered up. It makes it just have a nice flat look for stamping on rather than a real shiny CD look. We're kind of trying to pretend that it's not a CD anymore. So done that, and then do the same thing on the CD box. Cover it up, and then sometimes the CD boxes have things sticking up. I know this particular one had a little round sticker that I couldn't get off, so that's why I added a little embellishment on there. So get that completely covered and let it dry, and then it's ready for stamping, my favorite thing to do. So let's move all these things away. Marlene, how do you like it that I gave you a little bit more time this time to I like get ready? That. I like that. I needed that more time. <laughs> well, I see that you have really come up with some cool ideas. Tell me about it. Well, when you gave us the, um, the CDs, I thought, you know, they're so glittery and pretty. And the first picture I had of them was hanging on a tree, like for a tea party or something. Mm -hmm. So when I made the first ones, I thought, you know, they could be hanging and, and they would reflect the light of the sun. And wouldn't that be fun to have on a patio on oh, an yeah. artificial tree? I like this one that says tea and you've got the little teapot on right. it. Right. Okay, well now I've got to go and see what uh, Lauren's doing. Okay. But I'll leave you to your business. Okay, I'll get busy. Well, I decided I would glue two CDs together because, you know, you want to hide the insides where the writing is and they all have um, whatever company is sending out to you, the advertising. So I'm just using tacky glue and just gluing the two together. And the tacky really holds them well. I guess they're just made of a plastic, so it really holds them well. See, now we can stamp my favorite thing to do. I have a permanent ink. Hey, wait. Have you told what? everybody what you've been up to lately? Oh, no, I have not. What? I've been busy. I've been doing science camp. Did science, science camp, camp all summer with the kids. Oh, how it fun. was a learning experience. <laughs> yes, it was. I bet it was. Have you been able to teach them any kind of crafts? Well, we make like a lot that? of projects, do a lot of science projects, fold a lot of boxes, decorate them, and do all kinds yeah. of stuff like that. So that's where I thought that part would work for me. Well, so. yeah. This was kind of scientific, too, right here with all this stuff. <laughs> oh, this is so fun getting back into crafting after doing science all summer. <laughs> I <bet. laughs> I've missed oh, this. I've missed this. So. It's beautiful. Okay, I'm going to okay. leave you alone I gotta, again. Got to get to stamping, Patty. It's my thing. So taking some of these, these are Hampton stamps, which I absolutely love. They're from their diffusion collection, and you can stamp these just in the permanent ink like that, and then you can do it directly on the tin. Let me move things around here because I've got a lot going on, okay? And it just stamps real good on the tin. I've also used that same particular stamp and I've stamped it onto just some gold tissue paper. And that's what I want to add just for additional embellishment. So just keep stamping all over the tin. You can do the CD at the same time. As long as you've got the stamp dirty, it only basically does one stamping. 
but just stamp all over the CD and I'll open that up so you can actually see the CD. There we go. So just keep doing that. Whatever sentiments you want, just keep stamping all over it. And then I did the same thing with the square. I stamped art on the square, another one of my favorite stamps from Hampton. And these all coordinate real good, which is, which is real fun. So I've stamped that on there. And then just to add a little extra, and so the little funky edge of the cardboard doesn't show, I have my tape on here. And then I noticed that they kind of wanted to slip apart, so I just am using some little clothespins to just hold them in place until it dries. And then I just wanted to decorate these with uh, different rub-on designs, which was obvious for me to do because I do so much work with the Chart Pack Company and they have all these wonderful transfers. So all the ones that I have here shown finished, I've just used from all of our new transfers. But this one I'm going to make as like um, a baby shower um, tag to put on um, maybe a package. And then the person could always use it later. Okay, what you doing, what you doing? Lauren's in there really doing some cool Aww. stuff. And I'm using these fun little decorations. I think they're called bedazzles. Dip that in there. Ooh. And try not to get your tape stuck to the side. I love this. And that's I, a real easy embellishment, isn't it, Patty? The beads are so cool. There's beads and glitter in there. Uh, so it's all oh, combined in there. Yeah. I see. Oh. Yeah, it's sometimes a lot I of get fun. a gap in my beads and so the glitter would fill that gap. Pretty smart. Right, that's right. So it's all set for you. So that little piece is all set. Once you get this ready, that's when you would glue that on. And what I would also do is just take some glue and glue this on. Well, while you're gluing, tell us what is coming into the future with your plan. Oh, let's see. Can I see into the future? Yeah. Oh, yes. I'll be doing some artistic wire segments for you coming up. Yes. I've also missed working with wires, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Goody. I can't wait for that. And one never, one never knows what else is going to come up. So <laughs> just glue these on there. Oh, but, this is so okay. beautiful. So just keep doing that. Same thing. Keep doing that to your mm -hmm. CD. As I say, I'm like working at two things at once, getting I that done. I started to say, yeah, you're doing, doing it everything. All at yeah, the same so I figured time. I got the stamps out. I've got the stamps dirty. I might as well do everything. So. How long do you think it would take for us to do this whole project? I think if you have everything out and ready, you mm -hmm. could probably do it in half hour. Half hour? I think you absolutely could. It's just a matter of getting your materials ready. I love it. You, you know? know, this would be a great thing to make lots of and give away as gifts at it's Christmas time. It's real whatever. easy. That is adorable. It has baby boy, baby girl, all these different baby They're things. They're sucking on a pacifier, yeah. aren't they? And I'm just going to rub this on. This is a mirror that I'm rubbing it on to. And if you notice on some of them, like uh, this one and this one, I just rubbed it onto paper. So if somebody wanted to make these for really a little bit of money, mm -hmm. you could just use paper and not even purchase the mirror. That's smart. But I love the way the mirror just kind of reflected. So. Well, now, what's this around the edge? That's just a part of the mirror. I think they call those uh, ripple mirrors. Oh, okay. And they just come packaged that way. There's two in a package when you purchase them. Well, now, Lauren sure didn't think of anything like this. I can't wait for you to see what oh, she's doing. Oh, I can't doing. wait to see what she's doing. Okay, I, I'll be I right back. I almost bet she's using rubber stamps. Oh, I bet <laughs> she is, too. See you in a minute. Okay, now as you rub this down and pull the cover sheet off, you can see that that is permanently then on. And these are even washable, so you could even put them on dishes or um, anything else. But I'm going to do a second one on the other side. Let's see, I think I'll use this little bunny. Next thing that I did, let me pull over here. I just used some black cardstock, mm -hmm. and I traced around on the black cardstock with the size of my CD. Oh, okay. okay. Same exact size, just cut it out. And then, of course, I use my wonderful little box maker oh, here. <laughs> well, while you do that, I'm going to go check on Marlene okay. one more time. Are you going to be about done? I'm just about done. Okay. I'm going to score that. Okay. So that's just so we have a folding point. Okay. And then we just glue that to the card because obviously we cannot bend the CD. So we just glue that. And this is probably wet. If you want to use a heat tool or something to dry that, you can. Glue that there. And then... You could hold it, but then when you open it, you're all set. I would, I would rubber stamp it first, but then you're all set once you open it. And then I've just added embellishments. I've used some of these. I'm going to use this glue to glue these on. I've used nail heads, and I've just cut off all the little points on them. So just glue those on the top of that. Okay, all over the place. You can add a little more beads everywhere you want. Just keep adding to it. It's just totally up to you. You can get it out of there and not get it stuck in there. Totally up to you how much you want to add on there. 
and then we'll just glue it in the center of the CD. And then I would let that set up and dry a few minutes so it won't slip around and get uneven. Turn it over and glue this one on the other side. And then um, you just drill a little hole, and these are really easy to drill because they're just plastic. So you just drill a little hole through and hang them with some monofilament line. And there you've got an ornament. Uh, they could be Christmas tree ornaments. They could be package ties. I'm back. Hi. Hey, you've got to tell me one thing. I missed something, I think. How in the world did you get these holes in these? Just with the drill. Oh. Because this is just plastic, so it's real easy to drill through. Okay. This is great, Marley. Are you done? I'm done. <laughs> okay, we'll have to get Lauren back in here, okay? Okay, I can't wait to see what she's doing. All right. And I poke that through there and then just push back the prongs on the back. You can see that. I've just done that. Wow. Added some feet, which are just beads, old beads that I had. You're just about finished. I am. I am <laughs> finished, Patty. Am I taking too long for you? Not but. at all. <laughs> we want to see how you did every little thing. Okay. I just add those on the back like that. Yes. And then, if you want, you can just line the inside of your CD case just to of make it a little fancier. Do. You don't have to do that <laughs> step. And you can see here I've used a little gold around the edge. So it's strictly up to you how uh -huh. much effort you want to put into it. Fabulous. If you want to make a lot of these, you truly could whip them out with all those free CDs that you get in the mail. Mm -hmm. So, Have I covered everything? Did I, I think forget you anything? have. Will you stay right here? Okay. Because I'm going to bring the rainy diva uh -oh. in. And let's uh -oh. see who uh -oh. won. Hang on. Okay, we get to see who gets to keep the crown. Lauren, I think yours was beautiful. Marlene, yours was fabulous. Any last words on these? Yes, I have to make a little correction. Oh, okay. when I was making it, I kept calling that a stamping square. They're oh. actually stamping shapes, and it's a circle, obviously, so I just can't let that go by, Patty. Yes, I'm too is. meticulous. I can't let that one go by. <laughs> okay, Lauren. I feel better Mar now. Marlene, we are excited about your website. So we want to come see you there. Oh, thank you. And I'm just glad to know that she knows the difference between a square and a circle. <laughs> right. I would not be able to sleep if I didn't correct that. You know that. <laughs> okay. I have just been uh, so surprised at what they came up with making uh, out of these CDs. So let's see who gets to wear the crown for next time on Craft War. Oh, <laughs> See, it shows up better on red hair, doesn't it? I told you it would. <laughs> well, you did an outstanding job, didn't she, Marlene? She did. She really did. Okay, well, let's look forward to next month on Craft Wars.